Hi. I hope you are all well. So I'm uh, starting with another house put on the market. I'm in the village called Kereka. It's just 15 minutes drive away from the main town, Veliko Ternovo, the town Drianovo municipality, which uh, the, the village is under control of this municipality. Drianovo is just about five minutes drive and Gabrovo is not far away as well. So the village is with a very good location. It's a popular village, good one, with a lot of guest houses, with a lot of houses, people, resident live here permanently work in the town of Dyanovo or the town of Velikotorovo and live here permanently. This is the house in front of me. I will start as usual with a video of the garden area, outside area and after that we move in with a second video. So actually here where I'm at the moment is the living area garden and you can see it's absolutely properly fenced from all the sides proper stone fence from all the sides this is the back wall of the neighbor's old house and you can see this one and here is again the stone fence so let me show you where we came into this property so the property has access from the main good asphalt road and I just came from this small door here and you can see the stone path here the proper stone fence over there going all the way and where the motorhome is there is a bigger wider gate obviously it's possible to use in for a there's a driveway so we can put cars motorhomes everything you can have a look and see i'm going closer now because the sun is shining today it's a very beautiful weather by the way look at the fence first yeah good proper fence this is the door we just showed you and this is the gate yeah obviously the owner removed the roof there was a roof the owner removed the rules the roof and put the door to open out not not inside so not to take a space from from the from the from the driveway look at the stones here good nice proper stones and this is the back of the neighbor's house as i mentioned to you so look at let's have a look at the fence properly yeah you know so i'm like to show this with a proper cover by tiles a good stone mansory proper one old one but good dry mansory as we say the corner here and here is the fence stone part and wood part which is a bit transparent with some kind of a net because the the owner's dogs jump over it that's why it's done this way let's have a quick look again the house the roadside fence the driveway where the motorhome is and this wall the back neighbor house side okay now let's have a look here so this is the gate which gate leads to the other garden which is the proper garden like an orchard and garden for plants everything so we are now here in the living area garden look at this stone and wood board fence here we have again the proper stone fence with a tile cover so this part is very safe for dogs and for you know living area so you can put a flowers or stuff organized by yourself here you can put a swimming pool if you need and want look at this you know they made it this to looks nice and better better you know well kept garden grass a kind of a sitting area here you can see as well yeah and these small bushes and christmas tree beautiful organized everything is beautiful organized so we have over there two tool sheds and wood sheds lock lock sheds so this is one of the tool sheds look at this small one with a kind of a window for the lights but but nice just good to have something not you can see yeah it's a proper at the back wall of the house with a brand new roof and the space is not bad obviously this is like a small sh tool shed and a workshop for the for the owners tools and work okay wood shed here you can have a look and see this is the back wall of the of the house 
and this is the L-shaped wood shed. Let's go and have a look at this one. Yeah, this one is bigger. Nice, cool. Yeah, beautiful. All this done. Of course, all the tools are being going on from the house. The owner will pick them up by himself. Look at this back wall fence of the with the neighbor side but it's a proper space where you can come this is the wider space for the workshop it's good enough and the roof is good as well as i mentioned before look at this yeah okay good electric everything you need for a small nice let's say main cave or shed or work to workshop okay so I'm going out now and get sow this again the living area garden which is over there and now before we go let's let's have a look and see this area between the motorhome the driveway and the small door I just came into there is an area which is separated by this small fence and this area has has electric sockets and this has been the area for the pool so you can put pool here and you can put the jacuzzi here as well you have electric so you can connect it no problem and you have this like a small bar there and this way uh, you can enjoy the pool and the jacuzzi and at the same time uh, relax you know with a swimming pool so this is as you can see the where where this area is next to the to the house we have this shed we'll go you to show you now before i go to show you this shed i'll go to show you the other the, the other the other the other garden behind the door there okay it's a beautiful weather today so let's have a look the land is 2200 square meters which is obviously separated on a living area garden and orchard plus plum plus uh, plant area ga ga garden as well just show it to you yeah okay I'm now in okay it's just careful the dogs not to come in so I'm in the other part of the garden which is a proper size garden again with a part of the fences stone fence there and where the stone fence finish the owner put a new concrete post net fence there you can have a look and see it these are the young walnut trees young walnut trees here look at the fence yeah so this is the fence with the with the neighbor yeah all the way around to the where the stone fence start look at this beautiful walnut tree some plum trees yeah some pear tree there so this is the fence of the living area garden we just came in through this gate so you can have a better imagination how big the size is and what is the shape of the land here I'm showing to you the other border is the pear tree over there you can see the, the stones which are on the ground obviously this fence here need to be repaired all the way down to there or just put a net like the concrete post net over there so it's it's it, this one is easiest but if somebody wants to restore this they have the stones and they can restore it so you can see this this is the border here obviously there was a building here you can see some of the remains there was a building here so you can see some of the remains a small building and here you can see the footprint footprint this one sorry the sun is a bit sharp in so you see this stone fence there so this was the back wall of a, of, a, of a building because you can see here the footprint yeah and going this way up to there so this area was with the building not now anymore but you can always make something with a we call light construction built a wood, wooden shed or <coughs> something for like uh, some people can do it for animals if they want or it could be done for a like entertainment area because this property as i mentioned when i start the video this village is very very popular with the guest houses because it's very well located in a nice mountain area not far away from the 
two main towns one is Velikoturno, the other one is Drano so it's a really good option for a guest house and you have this living area part and you have this separate orchard which can be done on the different sections or even can be put a bigger swimming pool here because it gives more privacy and this back garden and it's a proper size so even you can make a playground here for the children you know or for some kind of a sports can be run here if this house is run like a like a business and you will see the house it's a really traditional house and it has been kept the style absolutely perfect i mean absolutely they didn't change anything from the building just put some some uh, new electric new water supply proper heating system you will see all this so this is the fence i mentioned that needs to be restored or can be done not by stones like it was can be done by the net with a concrete post okay so here have a look it's a proper proper size length i like this and here we have some more spots obviously these bushes are including so this needs cleaning but uh, you know it's 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 a duty of the next owner so here the fence is over there as you can see i don't know you can see it from the sun it's shiny sharpening my camera my eyes here again the same the same fence continue you can see yeah and up to these plum trees behind the plum trees is the neighbor land so here definitely need a proper proper fence in case you use this one for animals or uh, you know or, or you want to have a you want to have a proper proper fence this one you can see there is an old old net here so this is the way all the way down to the living area garden plus plus the house okay so this is the land now i'm going back to the house and start to show the house from outside plus the shed next to it and after that we go inside okay